Passover is the celebration of the time that the Jews who were held in slavery in Egypt were freed to become a people. Passover signifies the exodus of the Jews from Egypt. Being um, freed from slavery. And moving across the desert and into their own basic um, being. Well, we read the Haggadah every year. Don't even know if I said that right because I am a bad Jew, self-proclaimed bad Jew. And the Seder, which is the Passover dinner, can be many hours long. Oh my God, well, the Seder's really long. While I understand um, and appreciate the significance of the Seder, I feel like it often takes away from being with family because, you know, the Seder takes a long time and I just want to get back to talking about what's going on in everyone's lives. Well, uh, it could be a little bit of a family difference. I mean, in my family, the Seder is typically on the lighter side. My least favorite part of Passover is probably the questions. I had to read them a lot when I was a kid. Three pieces. Four pieces. Three. This question right here. 25. Why is this different. Different. Because... No, you don't have to answer. No, you ask the question. I felt like they were the same every year. Children ask questions Why to learn. Why is the night different from all other nights? Okay, that's excellent. Good job. And when I was young, I felt like I knew the answers, and that frustrated me. Read it loud. On all other nights, we may eat the Herosith is the best thing about the, the Passover. The apple stuff on top of the matzah with the horseradish, I, I look forward to that part of the service. Oh, and Herosith is my favorite thing about Passover too, and matzah balls. The chugging four glasses of wine also is, is appealing. Here's what I would say to the viewers, that you get four glasses of wine to drink during the Seder, and I would say don't miss that opportunity. You do need someone kind of running the Seder, or else it's gonna be mayhem. Look, in every group there should be a leader. Depending on the Seder that you were attending, the person who may be leading it wants to direct it and sometimes control it. We've always had, you know, one person running the whole Seder, and that's just how it's always been. And, you know, there's one group of folks who are trying to make it really strict, and there's other folks who are trying to make it something else. You know, you have four opportunities during the Seder to drink wine. Use all of them. Sometimes the joy and happiness of being together. I want you guys singing all the way home on the plane. Hi, John. Hi. Overcomes the ability to sell the story. Can I, can I, can I? And there's a so, sort of rebel movement going on over on the side. Make a sandwich. Make a we're doing whatever the heck we want to do and sort of half doing the Haggadah. Sometimes they may get a little impatient for the food to arrive. I can't pretend that we haven't made the parallels between the Jews being freed from slavery and ourselves being freed from the Seder at certain points. The meaning of the word Seder actually means order. I agree with what some others have said in that there, there has to be a leader of the Seder. There was a proper time and place for fun and a proper time and place, taking out an hour or so to be serious. I'm 49 and I still feel like I'm 10 when I get yelled at for making noise and laughing at the table, so. That's going back to my sort of feeling of forced versus voluntary participation. Okay, John, I think we'll do, oh, Catherine, uh, you do the Max Pesach. People ask you to repeat things or ask extra questions. We need to, move, we need to tell the story and move the story along because when you keep stopping, keep going. the story doesn't move forward. Okay. And to have then grandchildren uh, listening carefully, uh, new fresh faces, new fresh ideas. Why do you think we do that? Go ahead. A tyrant? Yes. No. Craziest thing we ever did? I think it was probably the time we were up in Buffalo and we got seated, seated at the children's table. Am I desirous of everyone listening and participating? Yes. I'm taking a matzah. There are three matzah in here and they're three different pockets. For me, it's an important message as well as a fun time to be with people. 
So if that's a tyrant, I will leave that decision to you. My favorite part is honestly just getting together and being with family. Especially parts of the family that I don't necessarily see throughout the year. As much as I dread certain parts of the Seder, I am totally gonna make them do it too. It was always important for me to make sure my kids understood the traditions and history around being Jewish because that's part of who we are. I'm gonna pass along that same level of fun, misery, and closeness, and loving family stuff. I think traditions are important. It's important to know where you come from. The experience is pleasurable to know that my children have an interest in their identity and eager to be at a Seder. I miss uh, Passover as a teenager, you know, with my, we always used to do it at my uh, my mother's mother. My grandmother used to break out in song at these events. No one could help but join her and just be happy. What did you think about what Saba was trying to teach you? It was good. You know, if not for these events, years could go by without seeing everyone. It's a, it's a, it's a great reason to get everyone together. I love teaching. I love teaching. And Samuel and Michael were very good. The drama around it is to me just part of being family and the, the fact that everybody's, you know, got their opinion on how it should work, that's just what families do. Did you enjoy the Seder tonight? Yes. What did you like about it? The cake. You have four chances to drink wine and a Seder. Take okay, Jan, take the cover off of the matzah there, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Did I just choke on wine? Yeah. <sighs>